Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. May peace be with you. Welcome to my video, guys. Uh, as I promised, I will show you about uh, one of a uh, very good piece of software that I have come across. So I thought I should, I must share this with you guys. So I, I have probably showed you guys how to do a putty setup with uh, your peanut lab or eve eng how you can use super putty so one of, in one of my video i've actually showed how you can set up this super putty but uh, in this video i'm gonna show you something which is even better than the super putty so let's say bye bye to super putty because uh, you can see how uh, well it, it is convenient to use those uh, windows and tabs but it's very dull and uh, you know with, without any colors or anything so i'm going to show you something which is really cool and it's uh, even much better than this so i'm going to show you how to set up that with eve and Pina Lab if you want to use it. So let's move on and say bye bye to Super Putty. Yes, I don't need you. Okay. So the piece of software that I was talking about is this one. Look at this. How beautiful it is with nice colors. And uh, on the left side, you can see all the tabs that I have created for my lab I was working on. So I thought I better I would share this with you guys. All right. So Oh, there were some little penguins were going on. Yeah, so even like there's a screensaver on it. So if your session is like uh, uh, idle for a while, then you'll see quite few penguins popping up around here, running around and skating. Yeah, that was quite funny. I was looking at. Okay, so this piece of software is uh, designed by um, Mobile Tech, and uh, it's excellent it's brilliant piece of software they have designed and it, it's you know on top of that it's absolutely free for all of us that uh, the home edition we can use it without any license or anything and i think for our labs it's more than enough and look at these tabs and these colors and you can customize like you can use different colors or different schemes and uh, yeah so there's so many things to discuss, but uh, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to show you this, how to install this, where you can get this, how to install, and then how to set up with your putty, like I did over here. So let's go. First of all, where you're going to download. So you need to go to Mobile Extreme website. So you, this is the uh, URL. You can go there and uh, you can see this uh, on the side you can download from here you can see there are two versions one is professional version which is paid but we are using free one we like free stuff okay so you can download here click the button and download just free so in free you will get like uh, uh, x server with ss support remote RDP, VNC, and uh, lots of stuff. And uh, maximum sessions that uh, you can do is uh, 12, but still more than enough in any lab you are building. And uh, two SSH tunnels. I think this is more than enough. I'm not going to go in this all, but uh, all I know it's free. Yeah, so you guys can take advantage of the, and it's really nice. So once you download just run as normal let's click i have already downloaded and installed so just to show you so uh you can download this one uh, home edition and uh, i think uh, i did not download the very latest one so i actually download the uh, most stable version this one 23.5 i'm currently using at the moment and it's uh, it's quite good i find it so just click here download you can see it's downloading and once it's downloaded you can 
just unzip this file. Let's go unzip. Extract all. Then in the same folder, download folder, it will extract under the same name and click extract it will extract all and then once you have you can go into the folder and then just run this executable file right so then just follow click 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 and there you go your software will be ready and uh, once it's installed you will see this under your programs you can search for it MOBA you can see over here I have MOBA Extreme so you will see this in your under your apps click and it will start and uh, once you have uh, you will not uh, have let's close all of these so that we don't have any sessions so this is the sessions I've just created for my lab. I'm just closing them down so that you, I can show you how you can do it with your installation. So once you have, so this will be like main screen. On the top, you can see sessions and uh, there are servers, tools, even you can play games. And then uh, all these sessions, these are the favorite sessions over here, you can see under all this list that I've created and even it it pulls down all of your putty sessions as well right it's cool yes so <clears throat> right let's uh, okay so session you need to click on the session to create a new session that now we want to uh, uh, like uh, when we are using our lab let's <coughs> uh, focus on this lab so if I click here because by default the putty session actually uh, the, the putty software is uh, like uh, uh, set up with the Eve and uh, Peanut Lab and uh, by default when you click it just pops up the putty and uh, in my last video I showed you how you can override and uh, start running putty session so for this actually we can't do that so we have to install because this is a separate application as installed so we are not able to actually uh, run this like we used to do with the putty session and the super putty right but uh, there's another way you can do like for example if you need to create a session for any of your nodes right any of the any of the like you can see all of these nodes I have created all of four these nodes so I'm going to show you how you can create this so you can just click on session and once the window comes up so over here you can see SSH telnet or all other options RDP whichever session you want to grow but we want to create the telnet right so telnet session we're going to create and I want to create a telnet session let's say let me start let me first uh, start a node that I want to do because these all I already have I have created let's I start this node and I want this node to open up into my mobile extreme right so this is router one okay and all of the others I have already created this is the router one I'm going to create so let's click create session and now click on SSH over here the remote host right so we don't have any remote host IP address because we are console we're using console right so how we give the IP address here there's no IP address but remember this one this is this IP address you're using as you are doing HTTPS and accessing your peanut lab like over here my peanut lab I'm trying to access so the same IP address is going to be our host IP address copy this remember this is the same you're going to same IP address you're going through 
to this management okay and uh, this ip is accessible from your host right so it has to be accessible through your host like i am doing this so copy this ip address and then go back to our session and then paste it here right okay so this is done okay specify the username so for router i don't have any user i can create users but uh, by default i don't need any uh, uh, like username so i can just leave empty i don't need to specify all right then this is where it comes the the tricky bit that we need to do okay so this is port 22 but we are going to do telnet so we are going to select telnet right here let's copy here so telnet username we're gonna know username and if you click your node okay so over here you can see there's a number is showing telnet 30174 so actually this is uh, 30, 30174 is the port number where this node is listing on this IP address. So, so the same IP address for your Eve or Peanut Lab that you're going to use. Type that IP address here. No username or if you have username, you can specify the username and then write down the port number that you have for your node. All right. So that was 30174, 30174, and then you need to, okay, these are the other options that you can um, choose, right, session name. So what is going to be the session name? You can specify the session name. So this is my router dash one. So that's my host name. So I can specify router, router dash one. So that's going to be my name and then you can change the icon. Look at this. So I'm going to select icon, let's say yellow, this one. So I can change the icon and all the many other options. So then there is network session, terminal settings and the advanced, advanced uh, you know, the talent settings. But uh, we, I'm going to keep it simple for now. So I have specified my host name. I have specified my port number and I have given my IP address for my Eve. And now then just click OK. You'll see this session will come uh, on the left. OK, so now just click and there you go. Your session is here. Enter. So this is, there is our console enable and show ip interface brief all right look at these colors i really like these colors okay so yeah this is quite simple this is how you can uh, set it up you can set up uh, uh, right let's say if i wanted to do i can create another folder and let's say this is my SD WAN lab. Okay, and then I just move all of these sessions into my SD WAN lab to organize. So, this is how you can organize this lab. And then, similarly, you can create uh, many other folders. Right, so I can create another folder for my second lab if I create. So then simply you can start your Eve. Once you're in there, then start your mob extreme and click your lab and then click on your session. Let's say I log in into my this session, we edge, right? Yeah. Admin, the default password. Right, so there are many other options that you can use uh, over here. You can 
you can select uh, different uh, uh, backgrounds and color scheme like uh, for example for this one I'm gonna I want to change this I want to edit session and uh, I want to change I want to have a different appearance for this all right so session icon and uh, network settings it should be terminal settings yes over here terminal settings terminal font setting you can change the font you like though any font you like you can change the font size size let's make it a little bit bigger and then terminal colors look at this so many colors over here these are the like uh, set of uh, like all these settings you can just pick uh, like a template you can choose press ok and uh, it hasn't you can you, you didn't see it but let's close this session and then open a new session then you will see the difference right over here you can see look at this so now you have uh, different and different styles background styles so many I really like this software it's excellent and I hope you're gonna like too and uh, and look at this it's not just uh, uh, SSH you have these servers available for you isn't it good look at this TFTP server FTP server HTTP server so you can even start your own servers let's say I want to start FTP server yes so look at this so my FTP server has started so there's a lot to a lot to explore under this uh, and uh, no more putty <laughs> you can just get rid of your putty now so as I did uh, this is a brilliant software so um, I think uh, probably uh, this is that's it for this video I just wanted to share with you guys I hope you like this video and uh, if you have any issue or if you want to uh, learn something more uh, then you can comment in the video and like and share yeah thanks for watching my video i'll see you in another video with another piece of good software or another lab take care bye